I think because, probably because of my training, when I was trained in Gregorian chant and also piano theory at the same time, I came to believe that anything, that all music exists in, in the air. The air is the composer's instrument and everything else, all the flutes and voices, we're just air exciters. We're just exciting the air in certain ways. And um, so my philosophy is, is, that, um, is that it's all available uh, uh, in, in the air um, to be shaped into an, an order of sound in time and space uh, that, that may or may not be perceived as a piece of music, um, but that anything is possible and the hard work is to understand how to bring what is abstract in the mind into an, a, an order that sounds like music to you. What's cool about stanzas and about this poem is that, um, is that this is uh, a poem about faith in the unknown. Uh, faith that you think you have arrived at a certain place when suddenly you realize that you have to go somewhere else. I thought this will be interesting to see if I can move around G flat and C major uh, and keep you moving and arriving and moving and arriving uh, 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 and work between the two furthest distanced uh, keys um, that are available um, by using a tritone. Now that sounds like an architecture talking to you about uh, you know about how to build a building, but the effect is is that is that you should feel as if you're where you need to be and then somewhere else, and every place you arrive feels comfortable. But you had no idea you were going there when we started going there. That's the beauty of music; it'll let you do anything you want to it. And so for a composer to be able to say, I have infinity here that I can deal with, and I'm talking through a poem that is talking about moving somewhere we, where we don't know we're going, but having faith that we'll get there. Uh, music's a beautiful thing, and I hope that you can hear it, the, the investigation in the piece.